Well, today is hair and nails day, so <laughs> we're down in Parmanova. It's the 19th, 19th of April 2024. Sun shining, a little bit cooler, but really beautiful day today. So we started up by the, the roundabout and we're going to walk down towards where Anita has a, a nails. So we've actually arrived a little bit early because um, we were hoping to go somewhere else first but there was so much traffic on the road in the Paseo Maritimo it took us nearly half an hour to go a short distance so we've abandoned that and we've come straight down to Palmanova uh, we're imagining as we get down to the front we'll see them setting up for all the events which are going to be going on tomorrow thermometer outside the pharmacy says 22 degrees uh, a little bit of a breeze, but not very much. So, hopefully a pleasant day for a little walk for me while I'm waiting for me to... We'll stop off for a coffee first, uh, see if we can find a suitable table somewhere. across the road now. You're going to cross. I may as well. Sun shining. Careful. The road's a bit busy mind. It's okay. It's into that Indian restaurant. No. So. day isn't it? It really is just perfect. Just on the walk inside the charity shop there. Very busy in there. This is where she's going. You let me know. down to the front. Start to see the coaches now coming into Palmer Bringing in all the tourists. The road this morning going along the Paseo Maritimo I wanted to go along there just to see this uh, ship that's in, which is uh, part of the p and group. And uh, that was okay, but uh, we didn't get very far along the Asimutimon before the traffic just stopped. And uh, it was really less than walking pace. So it took us a long time to get to the end. And uh, at the end of it, it was nothing. It was just a set of traffic lights holding and basically the reason was the traffic lights there um, allowing people to cross the road so that was the big issue we've got the uh, people across the road there pruning the palm trees it's nice they put palm trees in palm and over, isn't it we had a couple of huge pine trees which is more of a nuisance than anything else and uh, Nice to see they've got palm trees and they've put some other trees in here. Hopefully the pine trees will go. That's how it'll be. So getting all ready for tomorrow, which is the uh, the book fair that's going to be along here. So this road will be closed. It's also the uh, Calvia Half Marathon, the Magaluf Half Marathon, which uh, one of the legs, there's lots of different legs, one of the legs does actually get as far as this. 
back just a bit later on in the afternoon. Across the road and have a look at this beach. And it's uh, Friday today and uh, it's half past 11 in the morning. So it's a disappointment, but still no beds on the beach. I do have an unconfirmed report that uh, there's a problem with the people who've got the concession and that they're being asked to hike the price or hike the, the cost of the concession and uh, they're not willing to pay it so that seems to be part of the issue. It's, uh, it's all been clean, the beach has all been scarified, they've gone over it and taken a bulldozer or a tractor over it and it's all just looking really nice and clean. It just looks strange. <laughs> looks almost like the pandemic days when there's no no beds and no parasols. Well, I normally walk that way with the uh, and I'm going for a walk but I'm gonna actually go this way. And uh, I don't think I've done this walk for quite a while so it's uh, something a little bit different in Palmer Nova. Most people see me walking along the three beaches and then you know, actually go past the marina, which uh, people don't pop sometimes just miss. It's not a very big marina, but uh, a few little boats in there. And there is a, another medical centre here. and. Uh, first aid centre and the toilets here you need your 50p for those you can have a game of table tennis empty. Lots of uh, berths available down here. Appears to be. It's a little story about this marina. I uh, had to come down here oh, many years ago now uh, making an advertisement for Correos, the local post office, uh, Spanish post office. And uh, one of the scenes in this advertisement uh, was uh, things to, letters to write home about I think was the theme or postcards to write home about and uh, the advertisement had me in a boat and nothing much else really I mean I thought maybe, maybe I was going to have to fall into the sea but no I didn't have to do that I just had to be in the boat moored into the marina and uh, no, no lines to learn, it was uh, for Spanish uh, TV. Uh, I don't think I ever actually saw the video. Uh, but this is where we, we shot those scenes. And uh, people often ask about renting boats. Well, here you can rent a boat and you don't need a license. So I guess they're all pretty small things. Watch out for the wet paint. Nice house on the end there. Just a little back. And here we can nicely see the three beaches that make up Palmanova. So the first one, and then the middle one, and then in the distance, San Matias Beach. I'm going to make my way up around the headland on this side, past the Ponet Mar Hotel. One of these signs on the 20th of April, this area is going to be closed off this road.
guessing this is another way that tourists don't really often walk up here unless they're staying at a hotel or an apartment in this area. in the shade. This is a one-way street so it's one way up the traffic. Very wide pavements, are they? And then they stick a telegraph pole in the middle. It's quite steep here. And the hotel here is the Ponet Mar Hotel. Very nice hotel. Uh, I've had friends staying there, so we've been in the hotel to have a drink and a bite to eat. Not been to any of the rooms, but uh, sat on the terrace. There's a nice roof terrace up there with incredible views. And in the past we've had functions there with different organisations. There's down here a path that actually runs around the hotel. Hotel's also very popular with bikers, and there's loads of them on the island at the moment. Uh, I had a, a meal last night, and uh, some of them were people that were there were complaining about all the cyclists and how they just overtake the roads and uh, don't seem to have any respect for the rules and regulations of the road. I'm guessing most of them are actually car drivers as well, so they're fully aware of what they should be doing. I'm just wondering whether they get as annoyed as uh, the motorists that I speak to do. That's a lovely breeze. Quite a few steps this way, by the way, so uh, there's no way of avoiding them, so if uh, steps are not your thing, then perhaps this isn't the walk for you. And I haven't got Anita with me saying, oh, watch out. <laughs> but uh, if you come this way then, the views are definitely worth it. It's uh, an area that's been a little bit neglected by Calvia. Calvary being the local council and they just haven't done any repair work that they need to. In fact you can tell here this is uh, this little corner is just full of mud because when it rains there's no forever for it to go so it just gets washed down into that corner so I bet there's uh, a good foot of mud down there and here you get this uh, really good view of the beaches again as we walk around this headland. Mm. 
we don't get very far before we see some of the issues in there. As long as I can remember, this has been broken. It's clearly not very safe. So they put this metal fence around and this is now getting in pretty bad condition. But nothing has been done to correct the damage that's been done. Now it's fallen into the ravine below, into the sea. Beautiful clear water down there. Just in the distance, that's uh, Torrenova with the tower at the end of the peninsula and then over the other side is Makaluf. Coming round a little bit, you can see on this side we've got the hotel. down there just sticking out of the sea which just caught my eye. And there's one of the ferries going out. We even have a, a swimmer down there. If you're staying in the Ponent Mar, this is one of the places you can come out. Just use your room key, I guess, there.
in the distance here we can see the what used to be the Ponte Negro Hotel and uh, you can see the cranes there there's still a lot of work going on and uh, I'm not sure when the finish date is due for this but it's uh, it's not going to be any time soon there's uh, a lot of work being done It's actually um, Chinese owned. It's going to be changing quite a bit, I would think. A couple of weeks ago, I did a walk around this headland, and uh, this is just in front of the Mar de Val Hotel. Uh, beautiful hotel. And a beautiful headland to walk along. And you can see there's lots of trees there, so lots of shade in the really hot days. Just around there, we've got uh, Song Kaliu, a nice beach, nice place for swimming, uh, and some nice bars and uh, restaurants right on the, the sand. Just looking back here, we've just come to the end of the Ponent Mar Hotel, and uh, oh, the end of this part of the walk because I'm going to have to leave the front here and go up. Uh, another area which has been deemed unsafe and so they put the fence up but not tried to repair any damage <laughs> it's just fenced off I think probably eventually that wall is going to fall off into the sea we've got some private apartments here and then we've got the steps which take us up into some Kaliu area. And these steps themselves are a little bit uh, rickety. Well, they don't move, but they're just very, very uneven. Just needs a bit of TLC. I think this is probably off the beaten track for of your councillors who are supposed to be in charge of getting all of this sort of work done. If you've got a room on this side, you don't have such a good view. The ones that are on the seaside, really the ones which I guess get the uh, premium price. There's some steps there which will take you up to the hotel car park. I'm guessing you can get in that way, not something I've ever tried. walking down now which is going to take me into Son Caliu
if you go down there you end up coming to a dead end and there isn't any ex access to the beach so not worth the walk Palm over that way some call you this way I'm actually walking on the road I've actually got a sign here which says some call you Behind here we've got the Hotel Sompelieu, which is a nice hotel right on the beach in Sompelieu. I've never stayed in the hotel, but I have visited across the road, Penny Lane. Excellent uh, food there at reasonable price, so worth a visit. I'm going to get wet if I walk this way. Son Cali is a hotel visited because uh, some photo shoots or castings have been done from the hotel and uh, our children when they were younger they used to take part in photo shoots for catalogues and it was a, it was a great way of them and a little bit of pocket money. This is the back of the Fergus Hotel. Oh, you're allowed to have dirty dishes in the sink? Well, not for very long. But if someone leaves them around the sink, if they're cleaning the dishes, they have to be like, oh, chuck them in the row. And then I can put them in the dishes. And the road goes in two directions. This one takes you into San Calien. into the old part of San Caliu and that takes you back up onto the main road, the dual carriageway. I just uh, I think I've got a little bit of time because Anita's having hair and nails done today. So I can have a little wander around. It's a little park here. It's got lots of benches and uh, in the shade I think when I first uh, retired, I dropped Anita off and came and sat here and read, uh, read my book. It's really nice. Just falling over, I think uh, the water came on for the water in the garden, it gave it a bit of a shock. Yeah, and that's probably the last time I actually read a book. I, mean, I do like reading, um, but I'm a little bit different. I don't read to relax. I have to be relaxed to read. So that's something I do very well. So this now in front of us is the, the front, the entrance side of the Hotel San Caliu. It's a four-star hotel. It's uh, not one of these high-rise places. It's uh, architecturally not too bad. Um, and inside, um, well, I don't know, it's a long time since I've been in, but I think it's quite nice inside. It does have a spa, which is like the thing that hotels have to have these days, isn't it? Spa, big advertising thing. And on this side they've got uh, like tennis courts, nicely kept gardens. So it's time to change the flowers. If 
to the, if you stay at the hotel and you have a room up this side, then I guess the view's not so fantastic. Uh -huh. A room on the other side though, uh, you should be able to see the pool and the beach. So this is, um, other than this hotel, this is a fairly residential area with lots of bars and restaurants. And uh, some of them are fairly new updates. So the one over there, tapas, food and drink, is one we've not been to yet. Um, and they do, obviously do our sort of food, because we do like to have tapas. Gardens of the hotel, some tell you, and the gates open. Across the road, we've got Adventures Club and uh, more tapas. Nothing else. And uh, just along there, there's uh, Extremadura, which is a place I have been, which is. Um, a pizzeria and uh, the lads sometimes have a lunch there and just behind the bins there is the old people's people uh, club where they go and have a meeting play dominoes or some other games and they organize lots of excursions they go on an old people's day out with them and Anita refuses to join or any old people's clubs because we're not old people she says <laughs> This is uh, the Rincon, and a uh, very nice restaurant, beautiful terrace overlooking this lovely little beach. And this is good food there, prices are okay. And here's one of the beaches that does have beds on, so I think the concession must be different here, probably more related to the hotel than anything else. And uh, just at the back of the beach, not only have you got the Rincon, but you've got the other bars as well so it's a really nice place to sit at any time of the day and certainly we've been here in the evenings and uh, come down and uh, sat with a drink at some point in the next uh, few weeks and I'm not sure how long those weeks are going to be but uh, they will put that they have in the past anyway put a pier little jetty out here somewhere that boats can tie up to but it's also somewhere an extra area for people to sunbathe on and uh, it's floating so it goes up and down a little bit and that, probably that's why they haven't put it out yet it's because it's uh, it might be a little bit choppy so uh, no jetty yet the lovely clear waters here so it's nice for snorkeling it's quite rocky though, so well, that makes it more interesting when you're snorkeling, so nice little beach. Um, there is another little beach, even smaller, in fact, I don't know, I don't really think I can call it a beach, but there is just around the corner a tiny little one, uh, which you can get to down a little side road, which I might show you in a minute. Another ferry going out. It's a bad area. Another one in the distance there, so it's time these these ferries are in and out every day it's on apartments here which uh, are holiday rental apartments I came in that way and there, I'm going to go out this way to sit here. I'm just going out this way, which takes me back out onto the road, uh, just on the other side from the Extremadura. I'm just 
absolute down there, that's where the extra Madura uh, pizzeria is. I'm going to go up here, and run for me. Just come around the corner. And uh, I do quite often get asked about apartments for rent in this area. But I'm palming over in particular. And this is an, another option. Apartmentos son caliu. And these are tourist rentals, so they have all the appropriate licenses. Be very, very careful about renting from a private owner. So if it looks like it's in a a private apartment block it's unlikely to be legal and uh, well, there was talk of actually finding the people who come to stay there as well as the people who own the places it's um, huge fines for owners if they don't have a license and they shouldn't be on things like booking up Calm or Airbnb uh, because they face fines as well. So I talked about a little tiny tiny beach that's just down there but it's uh, so tiny I'm not going to bother walking down instead I'm going to carry on up here keeping to the shady side 22 degrees is a, a very comfortable temperature and uh, we have a visitor arriving tomorrow and hopefully she'll find 22 degrees comfort or she doesn't like it too hot 22 hopefully it's going to be just right I'm going to cross road I could carry on up there that would take me pretty much to Mercadona but uh, I don't want to go to Mercadona, Mercadona being the big supermarket. Just going to walk down this road. Uh, this is where there are lots of restaurants. I'm not going to get very far on that side of the road. So, pass over to the sunny side. It's been a while since I've walked down here. Um, and I am expecting to see some little changes. I drive down here fairly regularly because uh, when we have a, a lunch, sometimes we're parked close to here. There's a beauty place. She hasn't gone to that one, she's gone to a regular one that she goes to in Palmanova. Through. There's a vet. And I start to see some things that are changing. So here's a restaurant we know as Tomeo's. It's really quite a big restaurant, goes back a long way. Uh, but it's up for sale, not open in any form. Uh, last it was the restaurant bar Venetia. work going on at the apartments here so restricting this parking in front of the Chinese this is a one-way street by the way and cars will be coming towards me so plenty of warning I hope and then lots of other bars and places along here I'm not sure what that is and then you get one of these silent electric cars. There's whirs on them. Snickers. I'm just coming up now to one of the most famous of the places around this area. And this is Archie's. A uh, place that Anita and I like. We come often with friends here. Archie's has been revamped. It's a beautiful place now. Just go in a bit closer so you can see it. 
great for fish and chips, great for Sunday roasts, great for everything. Cheers, are you right? So, uh, one of our sort of favourite places to visit. And they do sometimes have live music on here as well, so it's really quite an in place to be. And good prices too. Lots of ups for Archie's. One place we've been, not been for a while, is Saffron. This is an Indian. And last time we went, we had fantastic food here. So we really enjoy this. We really want to come back. Do a set menu for two people, 42 95 That's got to be uh, a bargain. That includes a bottle of house wine. Wow, that's great. And Molly's. Right. Hot pies and pastas. Just in the distance there, see the Hotel San Caliu. And there's these passageways that can take you, like little shortcuts down. That takes you all the way down to the Hotel San Caliu. And uh, very conveniently, there's a car park, and this is the exit to the car park, so don't try and drive up here. This is the exit to the car park. And uh, this is where we park quite often when we're visiting any of the places in this area. And uh, we can usually find a space. That's free. It's a free car park, so not a problem. big residential block there it's having a bit of a facelift at the moment we use this car park when we're going to the Maison Saint Calieu which is the restaurant behind this wall and uh, actually be in there tomorrow night I was there last Tuesday night yeah. It's my diet, you see. So if we park in the car park here, and that's the entrance to Maison Saint Calieu. And this is the entrance to the car park if you're driving. This is where you would drive in. I'm not sure you should park in the entrance, it's actually some people do. There's no yellow markings to say you shouldn't. So it makes it a bit restrictive to drivers trying to get in. Now, the great thing about Maison Saint Calieu. If you come in the daytime, you've got this great choice of uh, menus and it's uh, Monday to Friday, they've got menus of the day. There's a choice of starters and main courses, sweets, uh, and it also includes a drink and that's only 15 euros 50. A bit more expensive if you come on a Saturday, it's 23 euros 50, uh, but they up the ante a little bit on the, the food that's available. So 15 euros 50 for a three course meal, including wine. Uh, and water, so yeah, can't be bad. Bread, alioli included. Brilliant. Thermometer across the road says it's 25 degrees. Wow. I'm not sure I'm sure like 25 degrees. <laughs> That's Mercadona across the road, big supermarket. Um, if you've got uh, a car that's worth paying a visit and stocking up. You get all your groceries in there at, at reasonable prices. But it's a little bit of a trek if you're carrying uh, shopping bags. So, you said that if you need a taxi, there's always a taxi here to take you 
back to wherever so you can walk here and get the taxi back. <laughs> well, if you're only going from here to your hotel in Palmer River then the taxi is quite reasonable. One of the cafeterias that the, the taxis are using, so they're going to be reasonable prices too. back now towards Palmanova. If I'd gone in the other direction, I'd have been walking towards Marineland and Puerto Portales and Portals now. So I'm heading back towards Palmanova. This building to the left is a council run building, like a club for children, young people. It's been here for quite a while now. Fergus Hotel that uh, caused a little bit of controversy a couple of years ago when it was being redeveloped and uh, started accepting clients before it was finished. I think all of that's over and done with now and uh, I've not really seen any reports recently, good or bad, about the hotel. Just uh, pointing out across the road, it's still San Caliu, but it's like a new San Caliu. Uh, that land, when we came here, had no buildings on it at all. And uh, now it's a big estate of uh, mostly private uh, homes and apartments. And I believe that some of those might be VPO properties, uh, so if you're thinking of buying it might take that into consideration that it might be a, a VPO, which uh, stands for its uh, protection, official protection, that means that the price is protected, so when you resell it, it's the V, it's the selling, uh, the price that you sell it at is uh, protected by law and uh, you're not allowed to sell it to make huge profits. So this is the Ferguson, they've now got the Irish pub all nicely uh, sign written there. It's a big hotel, but it's not a high-rise hotel. Uh, when it was originally built, it was built uh, with uh, reduced mobility in mind, and so uh, the hotel in general should have still those features which allow it to be used by people with reduced mobility. The, uh, it's got a rather long, complicated name. I think it's called the Fergus Club Palmanova. Something like that. Across the road here, right at the front of the entrance, is the uh, El Crufe, which uh, they do excellent paellas. It's one of uh, our go to place if we're having a paella. They also do a menu del dia. Uh, Menu del Dia is generally okay. My, my criticism is the wine is watery, or at least the red wine. And uh, <laughs> so, uh, just, uh, just be warned on that one. Other than that, it's very good. So, uh, if you're having wine, maybe steer clear of the red wine. I'm not sure about the other. But 
but uh, we'll all go for a beer or we'll buy a bottle of wine. Just my opinion. I guess somebody likes that particular wine. It certainly wouldn't sit well with me. The address is Beauty Centre and in the pharmacy. And this pharmacy says it's 20 degrees, much more bearable. <laughs> and you can see I've only walked about, I don't know, 200 metres and uh, gone from one pharmacy to another, and one temperature to another. But it, there are a lot of pharmacies, chemist shops as you know them in, in, in England, and uh, they do a great service. This is the uh, Hotel Gambada. It sounds as though it's having some work done inside. So I'm guessing they're not open at the moment, but uh, that work's finished. another restaurant across the road which is actually referred to as the uh, restaurant Saint Calieu but uh, not seen it open for a while so I'm not sure about that one but uh, one I have visited in the past and then across the road here we've got the school it was open. It's down quite a lot of steps so I'm not going to attempt that today. Maybe on another occasion. to recognise the fact I've nearly done a full circle. We're just coming up towards the roundabout. And, and uh, this is the Chinese shop, the shop that sells just about everything. We met uh, a Roman in, uh, last week and he'd, uh, he was in an apartment since the floors were a little bit cold and he, he wanted to buy some slippers, couldn't find anywhere close to the hotel. Remember the uh, bazaar that I'd spoken about and said you can buy just about everything. And uh, so they made a walk up here and found exactly what he wanted. So happy customer. And what he said was, and perhaps I don't know whether you realise just how big this place is, it looks quite small from the outside but it goes back quite a long way. And there's lots of aisles and lots of shelves and lots of stuff. So it's back high. This is a car wash, which I uh, need to use this now and again. I've actually used it as well in the past. Flags blowing in the wind. It's 
history flags, the Baleares, the Spanish flag and the European Union. And across the road we've got uh, Amadip, which is a restaurant, cafe, and uh, just be beyond that is the medical centre. This is the National Health Medical Centre. If you uh, go there, you, if you're coming from the UK, you need a GHIC. If you're coming from Europe, you need your EHIC. Or, uh, and uh, as long as it's a, a medical emergency, they'll see to you and get you sorted very, very quickly. There's a couple of students here looking for a library in, in Palmanova. I couldn't think of a library, so I've directed them to the Lions Charity Shop and hopefully they'll find something there. Well, I've done full circle now and uh, hopefully uh, we'll uh, catch up with Anita very soon. Uh, I'm just caught up with Anita before we go. Just a little walk along here, you can see the bars, just how busy they are. This is the Sunset Bar. And then a new kid on the block, this is Oceana. Which uh, Anita's had good reports of. And 100% no stress. Funnily enough, I saw a well, just as we were walking through Palmanova, my battery ran out. So we've, uh, we're actually now in uh, Porta P. Uh, just to finish this video, I need to, need to show you her nails. Ready for big night tomorrow night? Yeah, we're going out tomorrow night. We've got a, a ladies' night tomorrow night at the Masons. And uh, well, we, while we're in Porta P, having a coffee, uh, Anita's having a little, a little light lunch, and I'm, well, I was out last night, so I'm having nothing. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.